Welcome everybody to the Insider Perks YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the dark side of campground website design and reveal it. Except that was just a really cool title that ChatGPT kind of put out there for me to do when I told it I wanted to talk about campground web design. And I really kind of couldn't resist calling the video that. But I can't really think of a dark side of campground website design except for you don't do it right which we're going to talk about today. So let's jump right into it. Campground website design. Lots of you out there have different strategies for doing this. The biggest one that I could probably lean on the dark side and call it that is deciding to do your website yourself. Now, let me just caveat that by saying, obviously I'm biased. I run a marketing agency. I want to do your website for you. You should be paying me. No, not really, right? T to be clear. I want business, but the reason that I'm saying this is not because of that. The reason I'm saying this is because while there are plenty of existing services out there like Wix or GoDaddy or whatever that free website builder is, right? If you do it yourself, you might end up being able to figure out how to drag and drop stuff and make it mobile responsive and make it somewhat sort of kind of maybe pretty, right? On your desktop and maybe even a mobile device when someone looks at it. The problem is, is that the design of your website is literally like 5% of your work. And, and most people stop there when they do it themselves. And you can't do that because if you do that, you're not going to succeed very well. Okay, period. End of story. Like you might succeed a little bit. But the point is, is that once like the design of your website only matters when someone is already at your website. They've got to get to your website to experience the design of your website. If they can't get there, if they can't find it, if they can't figure out how, where, what, why, who in Google or Facebook or social media or everywhere else in the world, then it doesn't matter how beautiful and amazing your site design is or whether it was designed by an agency like Insider Perks or you or the super cool designer who designed Nike.com. It doesn't matter if they can't find it. So. Yes, you might be a designer or brander. You might know how to navigate Wix, but if you don't also know how to do SEO and load times and optimizations and responsive design and all those things that go on top of that, then you need to hire somebody to do your website. Doesn't have to be me. It's okay. It's not me, but you got to hire somebody. Otherwise, you're just sitting there thinking you're going to get business. It's never going to come, especially when you're going into what at this time period right now in early 2024 is maybe uncertain, maybe not uncertain. Nobody really knows. We seem to change our mind every week, but it's not the same as it was during the pandemic 2021, 2022, when you just open your campground and it was full. So the dark side of campground website design, doing it yourself. That's my answer there. Make sure that you understand what you're doing. Make sure you understand who your target audience is. I know we're looking at a campground map here, so let's take a look. We're going to use a random city generator. We're going to go here to the bottom left-hand corner. It's our favorite corner. We're going to hit one, two, three, four, five, so you know this isn't scripted. Corpus Christi, Texas. We're going to look at here on a map. Corpus Christi, Texas. So if I'm an RVer and I want to go to Corpus Christi, Texas, now, I might be looking at this on a map. I might be looking at it on Google search, whatever it is. We're going to find a random RV park here. We're just going to look at, uh, let's look at Laguna RV Park. They're here. They got all the reviews. Okay. Uh, we're going to come down here. We're going to click on their website. And we have Laguna RV Park. All right. So decent design website, right? I'm not here to criticize their website, but the dark side of this, again, is not just the design. It's what does it say? How can it be found? Everything else, right? So if you don't know on this website what header tags are, H1 and H2, if you don't understand the power and positioning of images and what those images are named, if you don't understand everything that goes into the content of this page from the perspective of this is what Google wants to see if I want to show up for my target audience, which you should have already identified, and if you haven't, there's a video on that, okay? But if I want to show up for my target audience, every single word on this page matters. Every single headline matters. Every button matters. How fast it loads matters. The photos that I use matter. What order the amenities are in matter. All of it matters. 
And if you don't understand why it matters, you need to hire someone or you need to learn. Wix is not going to teach you. GoDaddy is not going to teach you. If you don't understand, you've got to like you've got to figure it out if you've got to hire somebody, right? Okay. So content matters, all that kind of stuff. If you don't understand how to build backlinks to your website, if you don't understand how to make that site visible in Google search for the specific keywords that you want it to be visible for, if you don't understand schema markup, if you don't understand how to make sure that this thing is going to show up in the future when it comes to AI search, if you don't understand why people are on your website, what they're doing, if you don't understand the experience and how they're getting to your booking engine, if you don't understand the tracking for Google Analytics, how long they're spending on a page, how many pages they're viewing, if you don't understand how they're getting to your booking engine, if you don't understand the percentage of people that are booking, how much they're spending, and where those people are coming from, and again, I could keep going for about 20, 30, 50, 60, 100 more, if you don't understand even 5% of what I just said, you shouldn't be designing your own website. If you do, go for it. Go ahead. There's plenty of smart people out there that have marketing backgrounds and branding backgrounds and all kinds of stuff who are coming into the campground space. You can hire somebody internally to do your marketing. Just make sure that they know what they know, what they know they're doing. Something like that. That was a tongue twister. Anyway, so that's my answer. Uh, it's kind of a clickbait title. Dark Side of Campground Website Design Revealed. But that's what it is. You can do your own website and you can make it look decent, but that's only 5% of the battle. Website design is way more than website design. It's getting people to find the beautiful design that you or the agency or whoever you hired did. Make sure that that's in place and able to happen. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next video.